welcome to the Adventure Closet. I'm Liz, and this is Charlie. We are two 80s and 90s kids that never lost their sense of wonder. We're all over the map, exploring wild and abandoned places, discovering rocks, geology, and history of different areas, all while living and traveling in our minivan Opal. I guess you can say our life is a mixtape of adventures. So hop in the van, hit the subscribe button, and let's go somewhere. All right, guys, so I was filling up the waters this morning and uh, found this brachiopod in the gravel. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a nice one. So I didn't think there was anything to find right here, but um, apparently there is. Pretty cool. Nice. Move to a different spot real quick. That needs to go in the bag of bags that everybody has. <laughs> Look at that view. Yeah. All right, we're home. Yay. Guys, it's super cold out there. I've got you snuggled up in the sleeping bag here, so hopefully you can stay warm uh, while we're freezing our butts off. <laughs> uh, the reason we changed spots is there's an outhouse, like, right over my shoulder here, like, across the road here. Um, that's not flooded. The one uh, on the other side that we were camped at is flooded and um, it's not very fun uh, using a full outhouse where the water level is like pretty close to you. <laughs> so um, yeah, and also I wanna see if there's more uh, fossils over here. There's a little bit of gravel to dig in um, and you know, we're not really going to have an eventful day today. We're just trying to relax. We've, If you guys have been following along, we've had some exciting episodes uh, the last several. And uh, it's time for some, some downtime. And, uh, of course, we're going to bring you guys along with it because we take you guys everywhere. I mean, you're even inside my sleeping bag right now. So it's pretty cozy in there, isn't it? It's a nice sleeping bag. It... Uh, I'm going on a tangent here, but a lot of people ask, like, how we keep warm. This sleeping bag um, is rated for, um, it's 20 degrees, but uh, it can go lower than that. Like, uh, I've never had an issue being able to get warm inside the sleeping bag. And we've slept in some cold temps out in the snow and everything. Um, and Charlie has an even nicer sleeping bag that um, that I picked out for him. It's a Western Mountaineering sleeping bag. And uh, his is rated for 20, to, 20 as well, I believe. But uh, it's just something, you know, back in the day when we had money, we were working our 9-to-5 jobs back in Washington. We could afford to get this expensive gear and... It has lasted us for a long time, and it's done us well. So um, if you're considering van life and uh, you don't have a fancy heater or anything, you know, get a good sleeping bag and it will pay for itself. So anyways, let's have a fun day today. Relax. Rock or is it? It's too light. There's a bunch of garbage mixed in here too, unfortunately. From glass and stuff.
banget sih. Yeah. This is our campsite for the evening. Well, for the day, I guess. We're the only ones out here now. Yeah, we were just hanging out in the van watching a movie. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's still cold out here. Mm-hmm. But it was cozy in the van. Our old lights died. Yeah, if you guys remember, we had... Multicolored remote-controlled lights. Yeah, they were like rope lights. Yeah, they were little battery-powered ones. And they died. Uh, but we found this at an antique... Or a, it's called a Peddler's Mall out here. And it's just like this indoor swap meet type place. Yeah, but, but they called this, it a flea market, which is the same thing. Uh, could be a flea market. But uh, I think this will go all the way around. Yeah. Our last set of lights, I think we got at a thrift store too, which is why it probably yeah. didn't last. It didn't last very long, or as long as it should have. I probably shouldn't have undone these because I'm not ready to put them up right now. <laughs> <laughs> but they're pretty. They are very pretty. Does this look weird on camera? Uh, yeah, it really does. <laughs> <laughs> you look weird on camera. Uh, yeah, I probably do. Weirdly handsome. Is this, is this me? Am I beautiful? Yes, you're Good. very beautiful. Good. Alright, so that's what's happening. Um, yeah. If anything comes of this, we'll, we'll be sure to update you guys. Yeah, we'll let you know. Ten hours later. <laughs> It's been nothing but rain, and uh, not a whole lot is happening. <laughs> Let's see if that makes it into the video. <laughs> we oh, we only film the the real stuff here. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot's happening. The real exciting stuff. We just watched some YouTube that we had downloaded. And, and I'm some, lining up the lights. Somebody's still working on those lights. Yeah. What did I say? 12 hours later? That's, <laughs> That's about, probably about yeah, right. Seems legit. <laughs> I'm so close. So it's rainy today and we were trying to think of things to do where we can be inside and dry. And um, we've watched enough movies on our phone and... <laughs> it's time to do something different. So we're going to go to the Kentucky Folk Art Center and uh, check out art of the area. This should be interesting. So um, come inside with us. Thank you. 
another fun rainy day activity. Driving through cemeteries. This is the Lee Cemetery. I don't think Bruce Lee is here though. Hmm. Look at this person. Do you guys have a favorite? Uh... Oh, wait, what? This person died early. Oh, that's sad. supposed to make fun of people's names in cemeteries. I'm not. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite Bruce Lee quote? Does Bruce Lee have many quotes? Uh, yeah, he does. What's your favorite Bruce Lee quote? Uh, don't fear a man, I might be misquoting it, but don't fear a man who knows a thousand punches, but fear a man who's practiced one punch a thousand times. That's a pretty good quote. Yeah. And then he's got another cool one about flowing like water, so, yeah. Stinging like a bee? Yeah. <laughs> Flow like water, sting like a bee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That one has a mailbox up there. That's, that's very sweet. That's a good idea. So loved ones can leave letters. Did you show them the queen? Mm-hmm. There's the queen. Okay, somebody needs to talk to Charlie. <laughs> He's making fun of the cemeteries. <laughs> Alright. It's eight minutes away. Let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head to the butts. In 600 feet, continue straight onto Butt Cemetery Road. <laughs> she said butts. <laughs> this is the wrong cemetery. Yeah. <laughs> this is Fultz Cemetery. Butt Cemetery is over there. Make a new turn, then turn right onto Lee Branch Road. <laughs> Too many cemeteries around. Beautiful spot on the hill for a cemetery. Charlie just spotted the butts cemetery. It's up there. See the butts. It's the butts. Turn all the way down to Reef Ranch Road, then sharp right onto Butts Cemetery Road. <laughs> just ended in somebody's driveway, and the cemetery's up on the hill, so we're gonna get out of here. Okay. Watch out for their garbage can. <laughs> and I'm hitting their garbage can. <sighs> We're not from around here, folks. We stopped at a park. It has a covered awning. Gonna make some lunch, uh, which is just gonna be like a fried potatoes and veggies. And I'm gonna make some hot tea because it is really cold today. Um, let's see, babe, do you want chai? Green tea, we have an orange spice. And I know we got black tea. Green tea? Okay, I think I'll have a chai. What will you guys be having? There's a chamomile in there too. says something. The gate to happiness is self-compassion. Good oh, thing you're taking care of yourself by drinking a hot cup of tea. Mine doesn't say anything. Mine says vanilla caramel chai. I mean that's pretty inspiring in itself. <laughs> it is so cold that our olive oil has been 
solidified, so I'm warming it up behind the, the pan so I can use it. <laughs> So we came down to the creek, I don't know if you can see Opal up there, that's where we're parked, and uh, there was a break from the rain, so we decided to check out this gravel bar, and I found a couple things. At first it wasn't too promising, but I'm going to start with the best first. <laughs> um, okay, what do you guys think? I think... I found an artifact like at first I didn't think so but the more I look at it like it looks intentionally rounded around the top um, you can tell it's been worn down quite a bit but there is signs of it being worked on the edges and it's a really beautiful material so I don't know what do you guys think Sometimes when we find something cool, we send it over to our buddy Aiden at Ontario Rockhound, and uh, he usually knows what they are. And Charlie found this stuff. It's this very, very purple chert. I've never seen chert so purple. And there was a lot of it. At first I thought it was spray painted. Like, I saw this piece, and I was like, oh, that's got to be spray paint. But then I started finding more and more of it. And it was just in this rock pile. It wasn't in this creek. Um, it's just in a dumped rock pile there. So that's very interesting looking stuff. Really pretty. Yeah, very vibrant. Yeah. Okay, let me show you more. Um, so this is an area you can't keep artifacts, just so you know. Um, Okay, there's a reason I picked this guy up. And I think it was fossils. Yes. Indeed. It's like the side of a... a crinoid there, or maybe a side of a brachiopod. An impression of it. And Charlie found this piece, which looks like it has a bunch of, like, worn-down druzy on top of it. Which, you know, it's not very exciting looking, but the excitement for potential with this piece is awesome. If we could find something that's not so worn down and full of druzy, I bet that would even sparkle, too, if it wasn't so wet today. Now this one is pretty cool. Some fossils going on in here. I don't, we're still not experts on anything, let alone fossils, but uh, so I don't want to misidentify it, but maybe some, some of you guys know what we're looking at right there. Like, I almost want to say that this is a piece of chain coral right here. And then check that out. It's a cool piece. Okay, and I just thought this was really interesting how this one formed. Like, what in the world is going on? Reminds me of a fried mushroom. <laughs> you know the kind I'm talking about, like the deep fried whole mushrooms?
Oh, we have a brachiopod in here. Looks like we have a little bit of agate going on in here. The sun's not out today, so it's kind of hard to capture. Every time I go to leave, I keep finding more stuff. This, it's, it might be kind of hard to tell, but it's an agate. And it's very mossy in there. And then I, I don't know if that's a little geode or not. I might crack that open. Well, we are leaving this spot. And uh, what's weird is we've only been here a couple days. Been going to the library almost every day, except for uh, yesterday when we went to the Folk Art Center. And um, the water level has gone down dr drastically. So. And uh, this morning they came to pump out the bathroom, but they don't clean the bathroom, which is weird. So there's about seven sites here. This is the most secluded. This is probably a, gr a good group site to have. Um, there's kind of a site over there, but it's not very good. And then there's a bunch of sites on that loop, which uh, that right there is where we stayed the first night. So pretty good camp spot. Uh, last night somebody got their truck stuck over there and they just came and got it out. Um, this morning, um, they were up to like 1 a.m. just making a lot of noise. <laughs> but yeah, this is, uh, Paragon Campground. And this is our first free camping in Kentucky, and we are going to uh, move from here to another place that uh, is free. And uh, we'll see what happens next. Today we got to get laundry done, showers, groceries, and an oil change. I think that's it. <laughs> um, we gotta do laundry, we've gotta take showers, uh, and oh, there's something else. Oil change? Oil change, yeah. Yeah. And I feel like there's even something else we need to do. Groceries. Groceries. Yeah, I there's... just said all this. Oh, well they were just sitting right there and I figured I'd update them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to play both of those simultaneously. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I did think of something that we need. Oh, we need we need propane. Oh, yeah, we do. We but should absolutely get propane before we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come along with us, guys. Hop in the van. We've had a problem with this window for... Since we got the car. It's always been a little slow. But sometimes it does this thing where... When I hit the up thing, it only moves a little bit. And then when I hit the up thing again, it moves that much. <laughs> I think it like overheats or something. And I hit it again, yep. See, it just moved a little tiny bit. And then I hit it and it does nothing. But you let it cool off.
and then it'll move again. Watch. <laughs> so we found this graveyard. I've driven past it a couple times. Um, but look at some of these gravestones stuck in the ground here. And it's just off the side of this highway here. Like nothing really, no signs or anything. But it looks like it's very old. Can't even read that one. Eighteen eighty six. One thing we've noticed about uh, Kentucky and Ohio and such is there is cemeteries everywhere. So you could just look on a map and see that there's just cemeteries all over. And almost all of these up front here, you can't even read names or dates or anything. They're just headstones. Check this out. You can actually see where the coffins have collapsed in, in the earth. So the most recent uh, death in here was 19... Uh, there's a 51 here and then there's a 51 over there. They started using marble, they, uh, they look new. Yeah. Boy, there's some old ones right here, too. We share the same birthday. Yeah, just a couple years difference. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, see, obviously there's a collapsed coffin right here, and there's, like, a little leaf marker there. Like... How did they know where to stop the road cut? <laughs> I'm sure at some point these coffins here are going to be exposed by the weathering of the road. Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah. It's hard to know where to, to walk here. Like, I always try to not walk over yeah. the grave, but it's difficult here because they're like not in order. Yeah. There's just no symmetry to this cemetery. Well, we tried to get an oil change, but the wait was too long. So we're gonna get some other stuff done. So we're sitting, we don't have cell service at camp, but we're sitting here uh, answering comments in front of a McDonald's. Of all places. Oh, and we're parked in the curbside pickup. Oh, wow. But <laughs> anyways, it's snowing quite a bit more. 
That's a lot of snow. Yeah. It's pretty the way it's coming down. Yeah. Like that is snow globe snow right there. That is. Pretty snow globe snow. Yeah. Well, we decided to go back to the place we were last night. And it is now snowing. Be interesting to see what this looks like in the morning. It's beautiful. Light fluffy snow. Good night everybody. Good night. Just gonna check on the current snow situation. We got some snow. Uh, yeah, we do. Well. And they said no accumulation. <laughs> That's accumulating. It's accumulating. It's accumulating fast. Well. <laughs> it's coming down. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Those are big flakes. They are. Huh. Well, we'll have to see what it looks like in the morning. Good news is we, uh, we waited out the snow, so it's not very bad. Most of it's melted. And we're off to take some showers. So fresh and so clean. This one was kind of small, but we, we shared it. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was so much fun. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon, and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.